Thanks for tuning in to another uh, juicing video. Uh, today's Sunday and we started the day off. Uh, I just had a bowl of cereal, so I didn't do any juicing. Um, but then at lunchtime, I made a, uh, a blueberry smoothie with just blueberries. There's blueberries, banana, um, some ice cubes and something else. No yogurt, so no really no dairy in it. Um, and it was really, really good. I actually doubled up the recipe and uh, made one for me and one for Janine. It was, it was great and I plan on probably making it tomorrow for, before we go to work. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is uh, we're gonna do what's called a uh, carrot, fennel, orange, or orange, fennel, carrot. And uh, this leafy, crazy looking thing right here looks like an onion, is, uh, is a fennel. And uh, I guess it comes from the celery family. I don't know much about it. Um, he looked pretty cool. And I saw the name and a lot of recipes, so I picked it up. Um, and most of the recipes call for like a quarter of it. And they want the whole thing. Like you quarter the bulb and you put the whole, whatever's part of that quarter in. Leaf, stalk, and everything. So this is probably going to be more along the lines of a, obviously a citrusy flavoring. So let's get started. Got, oh, by the way, I'm gonna try something. One recipe book calls for us to peel the oranges. Another recipe book, sometimes it'll say peel the oranges, sometimes it will not. So we peeled three of the four oranges and we're gonna use this, we're gonna just throw this in here, skin and all, and just see Normally, the, the, the orange uh, skin has a bitter taste. Uh, in the past, when I've juiced, and I never took the skin off, so I started taking the skin off. I'm just gonna, because there's so many oranges in this recipe, I'm gonna leave this one on and see how it tastes, so. All right, let's go first. Let's actually, let's cut. this beast. This is half. I'm gonna take off the crazy whatever this is. So one side's gonna have to be one stock, the other side's gonna have to have the other stock. And again, this thing is pretty tough. So there's what's gonna go into the recipe. That's a quarter, and we'll save this for another recipe. Oh, by the way, I wanna kind of vent a little bit. I was, uh, I don't know if you guys saw my uh, beat videos, but those beats were huge. And we ran out. Well, we went to a couple places last night, uh, either they were expensive and not really what we're looking for. So we had to settle and go to Myers um, after Kroger didn't have any. And we ended up with these puny little things. I don't even know what these are, but I guess they're beets. So we're going to have to deal with these. I'm so spoiled. Tomorrow I'm hitting fresh time as soon as I go to lunch. And I'm picking up those, the rest of the beets that they have because I, I can't do anything with these. Anyways. Had a bit. All right, let's start this bad boy up. Bibble. Now I know what it is. It smells like licorice.
Juice is fine. The juice is loose. Look at the colors. Got a little green, got some orange. It's like a rainbow part. little organization station with she's she's responsible for videotaping and cleaning these because she's really good at it um, I am NOT I'm good at making stuff and making messes but uh, she picked us up it's gonna work out perfectly we got these little 34 ounce holding jars to prevent what just happened in case we overdo it with juice um, that way we can get in there and stir it and stuff so it looks great. I like it. You know, it's, it's going to come in handy because everything's going to be right there. And she told me about how we, I was stirring everything with a spoon yesterday and she had mentioned we had some pretty nice utensils that we could use instead. So I'm going to use these. Get the flavors all nice and equal. So it's an orange, it's got an orange color to it overall after mixing. Get one of her bottles up. So since this is my choice, I'm going to bottle mine first, then she gets the rest. I'm sure it'll be enough. Oh, and then I found a better cutting board too. It was, we've had it forever. I don't know where it disappeared to, but we found it. All right, let's do this. So it's got a, you can get in here. It's trying to, like, the bubbles and stuff are trying to get out. And you can just see them go up, rise to the top, and create this head. I'm going to shake mine up and give it a taste. It smells good. It smells really good. It smells citrusy. Yep. This will be something that we can, like, make when we move to Florida, right? Right. Sitting on the beach. Throw some vodka in it. You need your vodka. Rum. Okay. Very sweet. Um, I like it. If I was to change anything, I'd probably put some ginger in it. But it's really, really good. Really good. I like it. So, thank you very much for tuning in. And, uh, we're going to do some more stuff with this fennel. I'm sure I'm going to videotape it because uh, there's a lot of recipes that call for it. And I'm interested in, uh, I'll probably eat a piece raw just to taste it. Black liquors, for sure. So, I think, that, I think fennel's like a spice too, I don't know. I don't use it, but I, I think that's where I kind of know the word from. If you know any history on fennel, if you like it, dislike it, comment down in the comments. Um, until next time, tune in again to Walgie's Juice World. Take care.